request uh, Nagarjun Raj Garu to take charge. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for the nice words and the kind introduction. Um, so, Honorable Vice Chairman Garu of uh, the State Council of Higher Education and all the uh, learned members, uh, learned faculty from different uh, uh, colleges. So, I'll, uh, my name is uh, Professor K. Nagabhushan Rajande. I am basically a professor of instrumentation in Sri uh, Krishnadevara University. And uh, we have pitched for uh, the subtle incubation center with Niti Ayog in the year 2016. And then in 2017, we got this uh, center. Uh, 2017 July or so, and then 18 January February onwards it became operational. Now I'll be uh, I'll just share uh, the experiences through the uh, website. Uh, probably the for for more information. Right? Yeah, hope you're all seeing this uh, website. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, the Sattal Incubation Center at Sri Krishna Devaraya University, uh, AIC SKU, AIC SKU is normally called, is a Section 8 company uh, registered with the Ministry of uh, with the Department of uh, Corporate Affairs, you know, as a not-for-profit Section 8 company. So we have a, a board of directors uh, for the company. It is fully run with this board of directors because our vice chancellor is the chairman of the board. Then Mr. J. Choudhury and Mr. Manohar Reddy myself and uh, Professor A.V. Ramana Thomas. So these five members are the uh, board of directors and it directly functions under their supervision. It's nothing to do with the university because only the vice chancellor is the chairman of the board. <coughs> All the other accounts, we have our own auditors, we have our own, every month we have uh, uh, monitoring and uh, from the Niti Aayog, Atal Innovation Mission, Niti Aayog directly. So uh, two years back, we are, when we got the funding, uh, AP Innovation Society also supported us financially. And uh, so with this, uh, the Sri Krishna Devara University happens to be the only university in the entire country in the year 2017 to get the Settle Incubation Center. And all the others are, uh, you know, different other, I think only uh, four or five academic institutes were there when the Niti Aayog sanctioned 13-13 incubation centers of the total 3,658 applicants in that year. So from year on year, 2017, 18, 19, 20, uh, now all the, they have set up around 67 hotel incubation centers all over the uh, country. And uh, majority of them are uh, uh, the companies, individual uh, companies, uh, individual incubators, established incubators kind of thing. We have very few academic institutes. Uh, in South India, we have Anna University, Triple uh, IIT Hyderabad and then Triple um, IIT uh, Kottayam. We are there in Pondicherry University. So only these uh, four, uh, uh, four or five academic institutes are there in South India. So uh, actually, we are mandated by Niti Aayog that we should handhold the uh, local uh, colleges, local institutions, or local incubators, whether they are the students, staff, faculty, or the farmers or any social entrepreneurs. So this is mandated by uh, Niti Aayog. But the only thing uh, what they do, is, so these are all the set of uh, uh, mentors we have, uh, very established uh, mentors from different uh, domains, different technology uh, backgrounds. Uh, we uh, basically um, concentrate on uh, the, so these are all the facilities with us. So we have an idea uh, square in the university. Around 14,000 square foot of area is dedicated for this uh, incubation center. And we have a world-class state-of-the-art incubation facility uh, in terms of uh, you know, uh, conference rooms, uh, facility, internet, co-working spaces, conference rooms, uh, all such uh, kind of a thing. So we also provide the incubation services uh, in business plan writing, IPR and technology transfer, mentoring and financial assistance, linkage with startup community, financial assistance for uh, preparing the proof concept or any prototyping if they're required, because we are not expected to fund any incubator as such, but we are there to provide the services uh, for the incubators and others where from they can get the grants. And then provide the training appropriately for different uh, stakeholders of the academic fraternity. So these are all the services that uh, uh, we have. 
and then the startups uh, these are all the 17 startups so far we have upfront technologies in uh, solar they have a solar panel robotic cleaning module uh, which they are also exporting to uh, african countries and uh, some of the middle east countries now then we have a websica is another uh, edtech based uh, platform in the nights is a um, social networking platform ananta naturals is agricultural based so like this, uh, you, you can go through uh, at your free time, aic-sku.com. So these are all the uh, startups with us. So one uh, good example here is the, you will see, Kupam Electro Solutions. And uh, this, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, Shukiran, you can just give me feedback. Uh, is it visible for all the uh, participants? Kupam Electro Solutions. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah, yeah, visible. So Kupam Electro Solutions is a one... Uh, a uh, very good example which we have taken in the two years back sir uh, because we have trained the faculty and staff of kupam internet college and uh, when we had a uh, you know hackathon uh, in association with the worldwide fund uh, for uh, you know electro the uh, devices de de design devices to protect the animal human conflict uh, so then they have come out with a wonderful model uh, and uh, they have received funding from worldwide funding and now Madhya Pradesh government. So they have developed, uh, this faculty and students have developed a, a gadget uh, wherein it can detect the live wire in the forest where the animals and uh, in fact uh, the statistics say that every year around uh, 10 or 15 uh, home guards die. Uh, the forest people die because of the, they could not detect the live wires properly. So they designed a wonderful uh, uh, device. Uh, where the home guard or uh, forest guards can carry these uh, forest and uh, to be safeguarded. So uh, Madhya Pradesh government, Maharashtra government, and the WWF are funding uh, for this. So this is one very good example, which uh, they have set up a company, the college itself, with Kupam Electro Solutions, with equity uh, to the college and to the faculty and to the students. Likewise, Gainalo is another uh, startup from a uh, you know, uh, BBM student in Anantpur uh, Affiliated Engineering College. Uh, like this, uh, there are all uh, different uh, uh, startups uh, which are there. Then we have the uh, partners where we have the community uh, partners uh, of these people. Uh, there are some uh, colleges, and PayU is one, WWF is one, and ISPA um, uh, is another uh, partner for this. So here we also have academic partners. Uh, for us, uh, so uh, last year, till last year, we were providing all the free services uh, to all these colleges: Prakasham Engineering College, JNT Anantapur, Balaji Educational Society, uh, no Anamacharya College, Kupam Engineering College. So all these colleges. But this year onwards, Niti Aayog mandated that every activity that we do, there should be a revenue model. We are not expected after three years. Because um, we just we completed three years, so uh, AIM want uh, wants us to be to have a revenue model for every service that we provide. That is the reason why now we are uh, uh, going in for a revenue model for all this. Then so we also have industry a partnership with Saroka Soft, Venus Geo, uh, 65 Mechatronics, DX Technology. Uh, last year we had a uh, you know. Uh, a wonderful demonstrative uh, rural BPO in association with DXC Technologies. DXC, as you all know, it's uh, taken over by the and H they have taken over the HP Enterprises, and it's a uh, Fortune 500 company. So then we are also tied up with the Dodla, Dodla Dairy for their um, products. Again, iPowers is kind of thing. So uh, if you see the progress for the last uh, three years, we have been doing. Uh, so many uh, programs for uh, uh, different, we have been conducting innovation challenges in association with uh, different other uh, companies. Uh, we also uh, conduct the gearbox acceleration programs for different uh, cohorts, uh, for different uh, groups. Uh, so, and we also run, we also support the uh, Atal Tinkering Labs, as you all must be aware that uh, Niti Ayog under Atal Innovation Mission has identified around 8,000 schools all over the country, of which the 340 schools are, I think, 420 schools in the state of Andhra Pradesh. So for the last two years, we have been hand-holding selected colleges. The, college, the schools are selected by the Niti Aayog, 
and then we conduct a student innovator program like the three batches we have run for the students and these students are mostly from the social welfare residential schools or more model schools and uh, you know last year one such project has gone to the Russia under our uh, mentorship so uh, like this we have been mentoring uh, the schools also uh, along with the adult tinkering labs so like this this uh, these are all the uh, programs which we do a uh, number of things uh, in every college we go we used to go there post uh, pre covid we used to reach out to different colleges conduct these kind of uh, you know, idea thons there, students debates there, addressing the faculty, addressing the students, and how best uh, they can come out with that. This is one which we did at uh, uh, Vidyani Ketan uh, two years back. Uh, this is our uh, Professor L. Venugopal Reddy, former chairman of APSHI, and uh, currently the advisor of uh, the Vidyani Ketan College. Then there are all the different colleges where we uh, did this kind of a program. Like this, uh, you know, every year we do number of uh, uh, programs uh, for this. And we also number of uh, we also have a, a newsletters. We publish newsletters um, every year uh, on the type of activities and every quarter uh, also. Uh, and uh, for uh, contacting uh, us, so uh, you can contact us at the Education Center. This is the address. And we have a full-fledged team supported by uh, Niti Ayak. We have a CEO uh, with uh, Dr. Uh, Shivakiran, who is the Biotechnologist doctorate with the DRDL and uh, is currently uh, joining the program. He will also talk a, um, a few words in the end. And he's the CEO, and we have a manager, question manager. We have technical executives, office administrators. Uh, this is just, and the main part of the every incubation center or pre incubation center is the network, the network of people that we have, the network of supporting technologies that we have. 